Okay, the rev one, this is Overmind 87. Well, first uh, let's take a look at this uh, little conversation that is going on right here because uh, this match is not really important. So I'm gonna describe what exactly is going on. Let me just uh, so see. They say you are an idiot because he was complaining about the matchmaker. Play Lego Panzer. Uh, this is normal or Minecraft. I don't know since when is that an insult. Whatever. So now that you know the gist of it, let's see what actually happens next. I'm trying to hit a scout. Uh, my ally Reptile 666. Uh, we're getting into the groove of things. But let's just uh, speed it up a little bit and see what's going on. And watch what happens. Yep, predictable, I'd say. He's like, report that. Oh my god, oh, you should fuck up video. The, the, the enemy eye is shoot. Now watch this uh, <laughs> polite conversation right here. Reporting, reporting for being hardly new to the community. I mean, he gives away the arty position. Oh my! And I was just face palming through through this whole thing. Oh brother! World of Tanks community. Need I say more? So coming in number four. Well, you're gonna see. Let's just speed it up a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean. It's about that. Uh, Little artillery in the distance right there. So as you can see, the little asshole is going for the suicide. He jumps in the water and... Uh... Yep, he gets uh, killed by, by our artillery. Which is actually the purpose of the game, I go figure. And holy shit, revelation. Predictable reaction. I oh mean, you gotta love uh, butthurt man children. That's what makes this game interesting. And he keeps on going. I mean, his butt must really hurt right about now. Could you imagine the rash? Okay, now that we're done with the warm-up, coming at number 3 is a replay I got from a friend of mine, Tiger Fox, but he's not actually the focus of this exposure. These two are. So let's just uh, go right there and see what the hell is going on. Now then, look at this Yak Tiger and this ISA. Check out what they're gonna do. So I have no idea what caused this. The Yak Tiger just randomly shoots the IS-8 in the back. The IS-8 turns around, he's like, oh, what the f... Actually, both of them are idiots, so... yeah. Of course, the Yak Tiger shoots the IS-8 again. You know, they're just uh, pushing each other, I mean, I, I have no idea. Why would you... Why would you do that? I mean, it's not like the IS-8 was blocking the Yak Tiger or anything, he was just camping behind that corner. But wait, we're not done yet. Haven't seen the last of it. So, uh, if you... Right about now, like, if we ignore these two idiots, and, uh, yeah, the Tiger Fox is just about to get killed, if you look at the map, you're gonna see this scout, and <laughs> watch what happens, the IS-8 turns around, kills the scout, <laughs> And then goes back to, to being a douchebag. Him and the Yak Tiger as well. They were like, oh man, yeah, there's an enemy, let's kill him. Okay, now we're done. Let's get back to being a dickhead. And yeah, I say it uh, casually turns around. The Yak Tiger kills him, immediately turns blue, and gets banned. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Gee, I sure hope uh, nobody exposes these idiots so that thousands uh, of people see them. Oh man, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Okay, coming in number two is this fucking idiot in the Hellcat. Now, this is a thing that happened to me. Watch, watch what he's gonna do. So, we start the match. 
casually going into Miami in my Crusader SP, going to a position pre-aiming at uh, where I think the enemies are gonna pop up. Look at what this idiot is doing. I mean, I wasn't, I was in uh, artillery mode, so I didn't actually know. I mean, I noticed that my uh, uh, my sight was moving, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" He just keeps on ramming me for no goddamn reason. I turn around, exit artillery mode, shoot a preemptive shot. And then I write to him. You're gonna see. I say, cut it out, or I'm gonna team kill you. I didn't want to shoot him. I, uh, I think I take, a, yeah, I, I shoot again just to warn him. That's a warning shot. That, so that makes two warning shots. I try to focus on the battle of again. Enemies are spotted. I pre-aim. Let's see. And I say, say to him, last fucking warning. And I am thinking right now, right now, I'll just exit the, the artillery side. If he, if this idiot rams me again, I'm gonna fucking think. I, I don't even care. Okay, that's about it. Yup. And I mean, you could say that I could have just ignored him, by, but fuck that. This is why this show, I made this show to expose this kind of idiot. And of course, the my team says, oh my god, you should report me for team killing. Watch what that asshole says. Thank you. I will gladly expose your stupid ass so that everybody knows what kind of a fail of a human being you are. So, we've come to the number one. The winner this month, and actually the first window licker of the month, is that Waffentrager E100 that you see in front of you. This is a replay I got from a friend of mine, Reptile666. So he's focusing on the battle, uh, on Himmelsdorf, uh, going up the hill, that was a very poor decision on his part, but whatever. He's going here, trying to cover, like it's a tier 10 match, he's in a tier 8 tank, thank god for that good gun. Uh, the Waffentrager, I mean, he tries to do something, and my friend Reptile sees that there's nobody uh, protecting their backside. So he receives a hit from the, that IS-3, he turns around, points his gun at him, just waits for him to come out and uh, thinks to himself well I have to go and protect that area I mean somebody has to cover our backside and just let the enemy come over here have to protect our allies the S3 shoots the Waffentrager and check out what this fucking asshole does that's one shot that's two shots, and he team killed Reptile. I'm guessing you're very, very curious as to why he actually team killed uh, my friend Reptile. As you can see, he he turned blue almost immediately, which uh, leads me to believe that this is not the first time from a couple of matches in a row that he's actually been doing this. So this stupid motherfucker, we're gonna speed it up here. I don't even want to look at him. Uh, of course the match is lost, I mean, look at the score. So, uh, even the the other uh, ally friend, uh, Yak, uh, the Yak Panther E100 says, what the hell is wrong with the, with the Waffentrager E100, why is he blue, I mean, what the hell, what the hell is going on? So, uh, check it out, very soon right now you're gonna see the reason why he team killed Reptile. <laughs> My friend Reptile says uh, he wanted a kill, he couldn't get one, so he team killed him. <laughs> Check it out. He says, fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. Why did he team kill him? I'm really betting you don't know. He team killed him because he didn't cover his backside, which is arguably exactly what Reptile did and was trying to do before he got team killed for no reason. See, even the allies agree with Reptile. He's like, uh, fuck you all, he's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, need I say anymore, this is my, I mean, this is undoubtedly the biggest fucking asshole I have ever seen in a random battle. Why would you even do that? Why would you even consider doing that? I mean, aren't 15 enemies enough for you to shoot at? Oh, bother, bother. But anyway, this has been Window Leakers of the Month.
Hey there everyone, this is Overmind87, I would like to thank you for watching this episode of Window Lickers of the Month. And uh, just to point out, if you want me to expose any more of these uh, assholes and putrid abominations of our community, please feel free to send me any and all replays to trollingfantage at yahoo.com, but please mention and or specify uh, that it's for Window Lickers of the Month. I just like to thank you all in advance, thank you all so much for the support you've given me, and be sure to stay tuned for more episodes. See you later, bye bye. Like this video! Oh, that's good.